Well, the sale up. Today we've got something a little different on the cards. We're actually dog sitting this weekend. There's a big race on down in Marbella, Costa del Sol, and we're dog sitting for Jan Carell the Great. He's a big international skipper, but unfortunately, one of his mates has his engine's gone kaput. He was all the way at the event and now he's had to sail back and uh, we're now going to try and tow him back into the harbour so I'm not entirely sure what the conditions are like out there so we've got a few different techniques we can use to pull someone back into the harbour let's get out there and see what we find and I'll talk you through what the options are along the way right what we got 15 minutes right that's good okay so if it's a bit choppy out there what we're going to do is throw a single line or a bridle, let's say, off the two aft cleats of the boat. I'll go upwind of the vessel, which means that I can throw my lines off. The boat will be out of gear and there's no chance of those ropes coming back under my boat and ending up with two engines that don't work. So we'll throw a bridle off, they'll tie it around their bow cleats. Why, you know, if I was doing it on a long tow, I might be tempted to do it off two cleats to two cleats with two ropes. And that gives us a nice stretchy rope, piece of long three strands, what we're looking for here. So it stretches a lot and it doesn't put the stresses straight onto the cleats and rip them clean out of the boat. So that's what we'll do in, in, in heavier weather. And if the weather's all right and it's not too bouncy, we'll tie them up alongside and I'll go on the aft quarter. And basically I need to think about which way my boat kicks. So I put in the opposite direction which my boat kicks, I'll put their boat on the other side because the boat will always turn into the boat we're towing easier because it creates resistance in the water obviously so we want to be able to turn that way know we can turn one way easily which is what we'll do that gives us a lot more direct steering options so again if the weather's not ideal we'll tow them in we'll go alongside on the wading pontoon then we'll arrange a side by side tow in the calm waters of the harbour and get them back into their mooring I hope <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile the young pup it's just becoming akin to the boat, aren't you? Hey Milo! Hey Milo! Okay, so we're leaving the port walls now. We've got, um, I've organized with them on WhatsApp, which is a pretty cool way of being in touch, I suppose. VHF 06 is what we're going to be on, and we're also on 16 in case they don't get the message. So on dual watch on the VHF, we can keep an eye on them, keep in contact, and fingers crossed, they, from what they said, they should be here in five minutes, so. There's only one boat on the horizon there. They said they were coming in on their main. But I don't see anyone coming in on their main yet. Okay, we found the guys. Sail number 5598. That's their race number. I'll come up behind them, we'll have a chat and hopefully they'll drop the main and then we'll be alright. I think we'll try it side by side, it's not too bouncy. Just having a look around to see what we've got for um, pop boys, fishing boys and the likes because we don't want to drag onto a, one of those either Are you giving us a stern line as well? Alright Jenny Jenny he wants to just go in on a tow Yeah okay don't bother. Okay, so we'll call this the Spanish toe, which basically means that we're not interested in three strand stretchy ropes, we're not interested in steering, we just want to go in. So that's what we'll do. So we're just going to take it easy. No point in bouncing around too much. Tow these boys home. What they have got though is a nice long rope. So their boat's got considerably less drag than our boat. So basically every time that the rope gets tight, they scoot forward. So it's a bit of a bumpy ride for them down there. So I think we've just got to keep the speed relatively low. So he's going out to the side in an attempt to keep the, uh, the rope tight. Very clever.
Where's Paw Patrol at? Rescue dog. Be there on the double. He's not interested at all. He just wants sausages. You guys doing all right there? Okay, so we'll hold it about three knots and um, yeah, that seems to be good for your rope. Nice one. Out. So this boat's got really, really strong tow rails or gunnels, if you like. And where the, the actual cleats attach on, it's so strong. It's got this huge joggle running through it, the fiberglass, and it's about an inch thick. And then under that, laminated into it, is a huge quarter inch thick piece of stainless steel of which two M12s hold the cleat onto. So I'm not too stressed about having a non-stretchy rope attached to my cleat. If I did own a boat which was lighter built, like the race boat they're in, I would definitely have it attached to two cleats because they're built so light and it doesn't take much to rip one out. You know, being a boat builder, we see a lot of those sort of things ripped out over the years and all it takes is to use a stretchy rope and uh, after that, put a bridle onto two, which is the most sensible way to do it. It is pretty calm out here, but I think any more than this, what we got, 15, 16, actually 17 knots of wind. So you know, any more than that, it's starting to get a bit much and you might just find those dynamic loads rip it out like so we're just coming up to the um, harbour walls now so these guys have got a faster boat than us so I'm gonna go a little bit wide around there it's a bit shallow coming in those guys will probably go even wider to slow themselves down a bit slowing it down as we go around the corner because if we go around as our sterns kick we pull the rope tight they'd be getting jerked around a bit so cruising into the harbour at four knots surprising how little drag that boat's got it's unreal they're so just taking a cruise you around the corner because they don't want to get their boat snatched so we're taking the slack in by hand thankfully we've got very little chop in the marina and it's all easy peasy today. I think the plan is we're going to go in as those guys go up towards their, um, their mooring. They're just going to let go of the rope and just steer in with the momentum that they've got. I mean, it's quite a light boat, so they'll be able to work it in quite easily. Oh, hello. So like, I think that's the plan anyway. But we do have to keep an eye out for certain things. We've got a guy flying towards us now in a great big charter boat here. So we need to uh, make sure that he realizes that we're on two. I can pull you to get a bit more speed. Nada. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Perfecto. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Ciao guys, well done. All in all, I think they're quite happy and I'm quite happy that everything's attached, so... Nah, it's no issues at all. Too easy, Luigi. So I'm sure you'll agree, that was a pretty slick maneuver. I mean, it's probably got something to do with that being a lightweight race boat. It just glided on in there. But if you're in the position where you're maneuvering a slower, heavier boat, then consider doing the side-by-side -side toy position. That gives you a lot more control and you can use your prop kick to help turn both boats more efficiently. But to summarize on this video on how to tow a boat back into the harbor safely, then you gotta think about some key points. First one being communication is key and the dual watch on the VHF is a perfect one for that. Next thing is your long stretchy tow line, probably being a three strand sort of rope. Next thing is heavy weather conditions. Make sure you've got that distance between the boats correct so you're both on the same wave pattern to avoid any other disasters. 
don't tie up alongside unless it's really calm conditions or in the safety of the harbour and mark that long tow line with a flag or bright jersey in between to avoid jet skis or speedboats you know the type speeding in between on the harbour entrance to avoid any more collisions so that is the basics to set you guys up to be the hero and tow someone safely back into harbour and as ever if you've got any comments feedback questions drop them down below maybe you've got experience and you've already rescued someone into harbour safely and have some tips for other people watching drop them down below and if you haven't already please consider subscribing it means an awful lot to us and you don't want to miss out on what's coming up over the next few months for sail hub we've got boat shows, interviews, some really cool new tech that we're testing out there in the water here for you guys. So don't miss out, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next week.